Hockey players have a lot of courage. They have to have courage to be successful on the ice. For the second straight year, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins are involved in a program called Beads of Courage, and it's making them, their loved ones, and their fans look at the word courage in a different way. Athletes are used to earning accolades. You have to earn a spot on the team, and you earn a championship. So when Wilkes-Barre Scranton defenseman Brendan Mickelson was told he was able to keep one of the bracelets he just made for Beads of Courage, he was a little hesitant. Usually the bracelets are worn by children who have a medical condition or are battling a disease. Each bead represents a different milestone in their treatment. It felt a little off just because, you know, it's something that, um, uh, like we said, like it's something they, they get a bead when they go through a, a treatment. And, and so when I, when I was making one, I was flattered that they would think of us to get one to keep. Uh, but at the same time, I was thinking, well, I haven't been through what the, these kids have been through. And uh, I don't know if I'd earn the, the, the badge of honor, I guess you could call it a little bit, that, that they have for um, everything they've been through. So, um, But in the, in the sense that it, it commemorates them and it creates awareness for the whole program, it's, it's great and uh, I'll wear it with pride. The Penguins will wear the bracelets during their warm-up on March 14th before the game against Hamilton. At that game, fans will also have the chance to purchase a special Penguins bead for $5 to help support the Beads of Courage program. For $5, you get a bead and so will a child in the program. Beads of Courage is currently sponsored in four regional hospitals by the Palermo Heart to Heart Foundation. Well, yesterday we were fortunate to announce the fourth hospital in Pennsylvania, Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital, and they brought children down in treatment. And the one child was able to document uh, over the course of her treatment 1,900 beads. And it, the look of accomplishment and of just overall happiness that they're able to look back and say, I've been through this, I could get through what's ahead of me too. You know, the, the beads signify different meanings for a child in treatment. A white bead is for every needle they get. Um, a brown bead is for when they get their hair cut off. Um, the bead that I find most significant is the yellow bead that shows every night that they're away from their family. And it really tells the story about the treatment they've been through. The wives and girlfriends of some of the Penguins players also made bracelets and will be selling the beads at the Mohegan Sun Arena on the 14th. Our daughter was actually in the hospital for about two months when she was a baby and we didn't have programs like this and I mean to have something that can help and provide a bit of comfort to families going through this, that's we're happy to get involved. Along with the bracelets, the players wrote a special note of encouragement to the children.